everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. <laughs> that Wattpad. <laughs> <laughs> the Wattpad Book Club. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm your host Phoenix, and today I am joined with my lovely co-host Gummy. Finally, for another session. Yay! Hi, I'm Gummy. Yeah, the one. Um, and or hey, Gummy, whatever you whatever you prefer. Yeah, the one and only gummy I keep referencing at the end of all my live streams. It's them in the flesh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you're like I'm a so celebrity. so famous. Yeah, you're like a celebrity. Dude, <laughs> don't even talk to me if you're not subscribed to me. No, I'm kidding. It's okay. Uh, I've got the pleasure of hearing my voice today. Yeah, on the on a related note, I I constantly mention you at the end of all my live streams for all like the, the little like shit that you give me of like the the PNG stuff and the banner. That, like when you popped in chat, Joey was like, "Oh my god, it's the Astro Gummy!" Oh my <laughs> yeah. god, they're like starstruck, making a swift appearance. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, Gummy so, and I. Uh <laughs> We were like, let's let's put the trolls thing to the side for now. That's losing a little bit of interest, you know. People aren't fans of these little guys anymore. So we went back in time to 2008 and pulled yeah. out- <laughs> even better. <laughs> yeah, we pulled out a fandom that I was a part of heavily. Still very much a part of. Damn. I did not know even know that you were like a part of this, like you liked this kind of thing or anything. So very much a surprise to me. It was one of my favorite shows growing up, um, ever since the- I haven't been watching the newer seasons or, like, the spinoffs, but I just remember being so obsessed with it growing up. So, yeah. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> I really liked Gwen. I think a lot of people did. Yeah, you know, you look like a kind of Gwen enjoyer. <laughs> <laughs> was that? <laughs> I was literally gonna ask, like, what's your favorite character, Gwen? There she is. <laughs> you answered my question. <laughs> Not to be um, sidetracked a little bit, but it says on this um, story on the side, it says you'll also like Smasher Pass. And I'm just like, uh huh. <laughs> Interesting suggestion. Man, I wish I had that. I get like enemies to lovers and uh, Alistair X Reader, because that's what I want, apparently. <laughs> that's what it's showing me, too. Oh Show wait, I see it! Smash your pass and it has that girl from, uh, from Subway Surfers on it? Yeah, what? Is that... Um, I didn't know that was on Wattpad. I love huh. the description of it. It's, I'm not doing children or animals because that's weird and gross. <laughs> yeah, like, I, Gotta I hope Gotta the bare minimum. <laughs> the bare minimum here. Let's go. Alright, so we have scenarios written down. Also, I forgot to mention. We are reading a book by We Forgot Tyler called Shorts total drama and it's just a bunch of scenarios between different total drama characters in different scenarios off the island they're not on the island anymore we just took them and just placed them in a room so <laughs> they have pretty to much. do other things <laughs> pretty much this will be interesting all right so we picked out beer pong hockey day and banter effect which one comes first on here Wait, oh, here it is. Okay, it looks like beer pong comes first. Oh, I, I picked that one. Oh God, there's alcohol in here? I don't think we can read this, Gummy. I'm- <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're taking CBD gummies. <laughs> they're, they're drinking a beer. I want to go home. <laughs> it's going to be rated R. No, I'm kidding. Beer pong. Gwen I think I'll fuck it up. Wait, oh yeah, you said this. Uh, Nikki and Jonesy from 16 appear in the- I don't really even remember what these people look like from 16. so long. I remember- yeah. Fuck, what's that name of the dude of like, um, he has blonde hair, wears a beanie, and skateboards? Yeah, that dude. I remember that dude. Yeah, I think dude, that's the only dude. character I remember. Pretty much. I don't even know his name, <laughs> but he's a cool dude. Oh my gosh, started in 2004, damn. God, this was... We're old. This was the <laughs> shit. I'm, I'm approaching retirement age, it's over. <laughs> it's Joe over right now, man. <laughs> Alright, I have a lovely quarter right here, so... Uh, do you want to be heads or tails? Tails. Alright. Alright, it's tails. Oh, does that mean I read? Yep. You're the lucky winner of the contest, buddy. 
<laughs> Alright, well... If, uh, if I... Can I choose Gwen, because that's my favorite character? Do you want to be Duncan? Absolutely, you can do that. Okay. Then you start. <laughs> oh, come on, Gwen! It'll be fun! Duncan urged as he sat... Wait, fuck. <laughs> Duncan urged as he sat in her beanbag chair. Yeah, right. I kind of forgot what she sounded like. Kind of just kind of like kinda that. Obvious. Yeah, hanging out with a group of drunk teens from school will be so exciting. The goth reprimanded, closing her history textbook as she sat on the floor. Man, why do you have to be such a downer? <laughs> why can't you respect the fact that I don't want to go to some lame high school party? Gwen shot back, glaring at her best friend who began to pack up his homework. Oh, uh, Duncan has been trying to convince the goth, <laughs> the goth, yeah. to come to the off's party that he was throwing to celebrate getting through their awful midterms. Is it because you think Trent's gonna be there? Duncan smirked. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Gwen and her ex Trent had broken up a few weeks ago after she grew uncomfortable with his obsession with her. He was a great guy, but he became too fixated on her, which began to piss her off. It's not that, Duncan, at all. You know, we're on pretty good terms, Gwen said, setting her belongings on her side table. Duncan rose his brow, slinging his backpack over his shoulder. Not after you yelled at him for his number nine obsession in the cafeteria and the school news recorded the whole thing, he stated. <laughs> Steam flew out of Gwen's ears. It was an accident! I didn't know what they- they were recording, she claimed, stomping her foot. Do Duncan let, let out a oh, chuckle. <laughs> Do I need to let out a chuckle? Tee hee. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the, the most masculine man in the show lets out a tee hee. <laughs> what, what about it? <laughs> Old his eyes, heading towards the door. Trent's not gonna be at the party. He's actually visiting his family up north, Duncan said, uh, holding on to the doorknob. I'll pick you up at eight. I didn't agree to this, you know, Gwen called out as her bedroom door slammed shut. She groaned, falling onto her bed. Ugh. I can't believe you convinced me to come, Gwen huffed out as she tugged on her black dress. Duncan chortled, opening up the front door for her. What can I say? I'm great at persuading people. The punk shrugged. Now relax, pasty. You look good. And you know, we'll, we'll only be here for at the party for an hour or so. Gwen frowned at her dress. I can't believe I'm wearing this, he exclaimed, pulling at the somewhat revealing fabric. You realize you didn't have to go all out. It's just a party. Duncan told her. <laughs> her jaw dropped. Why didn't you tell me? Because you look cute and I'm trying to score you a date, he, he responded simply. <laughs> oh my god. His eyes traveled back to the start of the hallway where, where his on and off girlfriend stood. Now stop wasting your teenage years complaining and have fun. If you need me, I'll be with Miss CIT. Duncan extended his thumb back towards the brunette. Who he was, who was conversing with DJ? I cannot picture Courtney at a party for like anything. She looks like the type to be like, "Oh my God, there's alcohol here! I'm calling the police!" <laughs> Noise complaint unplugs the radio. <laughs> true, that's so true. You're just gonna leave me here? She called out as Duncan sauntered over to his girl. Gwen grumbled underneath her breath, scanning the crowd. The smell of alcohol, sweat and weed filled their nostrils as the cliques stood with each other. A makeshift dance floor was set up in the living room, and a couple had already started making out on the couch. Fuck you, Duncan, <laughs> she muttered, treading her way to the kitchen where she hoped that barely anyone stood. Who, who is that? Wait, is that? I think it's also that Gwen. Gwen. Huh. Excuse me! She shouted over the loud music as a small group of stoners stood by the entryway. Oh. <laughs> Move it! 
she growled out, catching the attention of them besides the one blonde boy who was too focused on looking at his fingers to notice. Whoa, dude, he mumbled, <laughs> examining his hand. <laughs> one stood in front of him with crossed arms and a scowl. Uh, oh. Do you yeah. want to be Bridget? Yeah, I'll or be Bridget. Okay. Dude, move. Bridget, one of the known stoners, told her friend as she moved out of the way. The blonde looked up, giggling. Sorry, dude. Oh, uh, which blonde is this? Sir? <laughs> <laughs> which blonde is that? The I'm blonde a... with the beanie garbled with a foolish grin, stepping off to the side. Gwen rolled her eyes, stomping into the kitchen. Luckily for her, the room was mostly empty. Only a couple people were lingering in the kitchen, talking amongst amongst themselves. Gwen sighed, making her way over to the fridge to get a water bottle. She pulled out the drink and leaned against the countertop, closing her eyes. <sighs> I can't believe I actually let, let Duncan drag me here, she thought. And he has the audacity to ditch me for his bossy girl toy. <laughs> that... Hey, weird goth girl. Someone called out, <laughs> catching Gwen's attention. She snapped her eyes open to see Nikki, one of the teens that used to work at the Galleria Mall. Is that the 16? I think that is. I can be her. Instead, um, I don't know her voice, but I'll just make one up. Instead of standing there, make yourself useful and come join us! She said as her boyfriend Jonesy and the host, Geoff, stood alongside her with red solo cups in their hands. Sorry, I don't drink. She broke the news to them, sipping on her water bottle. Come on, babe, uh, it's a party! Jonesy added on. He received a slap to the shoulder from Nikki, from the pet name. How? Relax. Wait. Um, oh, wait, this is Jeff, oh, yeah, I got yeah. it. Relax, guys. Gwen doesn't have to join if she doesn't want to. We can find someone else. Jeff spoke up, defending the goth. The, just the goth. <laughs> just the goth. Her only personality Gwen's... trait. <laughs> the, the goth. The, the the token goth. Yeah. Gwen smiled but quickly hit it with a snarl. She glanced back at the entryway where she saw Duncan and Courtney together, laughing, firming her lips. She turned back to the group of three. You know what? She tossed her empty water bottle in the trash can. I'll play. All right, Jeff cheered, walking over to Gwen. He flung his arm over her shoulders. She's on my team. Was I Jonesy? I forgot. I think you were. No, Jonesy cried, falling to his knees. <laughs> hey, uh, nice game, Gothy. Nikki nodded in approval, pulling Jonesy up. Mom, babe, let's go. I want a rematch! He cried out as his girlfriend dragged him back into the house. Gwen lifted up her eyebrow before turning to her partner. <laughs> well, that was fun, Gwen said. We kinda kicked their asses, didn't we? I gotta say, you carried us, Jeff responded, drinking the rest of the liquor from the bottle that they didn't use. Didn't know you were good at beer pong. <laughs> I didn't know either. Gwen shrugged, laughter escaping her lips. You know, you really bring the party out of people. Geoff smiled down at the goth. That's my job. Why'd you choose me to be your partner? Gwen blurted out. I honestly don't think we've talked before. She hadn't had a real conversation with- uh, Am I saying it right? Oh, it was yeah. Jeff. Jeff? Okay. Yeah. With Jeff since they were never in the same friend group and she easily got annoyed by him whenever she heard him in the hallway always saying dude and whatnot. However, after this night, her opinions quickly changed. When she got to know him during the beer pong game, she realized she'd been wrong about him. And to be honest, she wished she would have known him sooner. I, didn't, I don't know, man. You seem cool. And I haven't seen you at, all, at one of my parties before. Thanks for coming, by the way, he answered, taking a swig out of the new beer bottle that was in the cooler beside them. Uh, Duncan dragged me, 
Gwen grumbled, folding her arms across her chest. Well, I'm glad he did. Gwen received a small blush. Released a <laughs> received released a small blush. You want to sit down? Jeff asked her, cocking his head back to the bench by the unlit fire. <laughs> wow. Gwen nodded, and the two headed over there. Hey, Jeff, you want to play football? A taller jock by the name of Tyler called out to him as he stood with another football player a couple of feet away. We were just about to start. We have an uneven amount, the other guy told the party boy, passing the ball back over to Tyler. I don't think I'll stay here, dudes. Next time, though, Jeff said to the boys. They nodded and walked off and searched for another player to join them. <sighs> you realized you could have played with them, right? Gwen spoke up, feeling as if she was getting in the way of uh, Jeff's party. Nah, I'm fine with chilling here with you, Jeff replied, relaxing his body on the bench. He slung his arm over the top of it, creating a light breeze which sent shivers down Gwen's spine. L look I want to know the truth. Are you pretending to be nice to me? Gwen questioned as she tucked a strand of her short hair behind her ear. Just because you feel bad and all? Jeff's forehead wrinkled. Bad and all about what? How you feel bad that I've never been to a high school party. Oh, snap! You never been to one? Jeff's Jeff gasp. <laughs> Just, oh. No, oh, good. Oh, oh my goodness. The audacity to not go to a party. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> he was beyond shocked. Gwen's face immediately flushed from embarrassment. Uh. Oh no. Okay. Now after experience it for the first time, I kind of wish I went to one sooner. Gwen sighed out with venom. But you know. I'm the harsh, weird, scary goth girl who's always mean and snappish as usual. It's no doubt you're faking all of this just because you feel shitty. I, 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 I'm, I'm not pretending. <laughs> I, I really <laughs> like you, Gwen. Jeff stuttered out with sadness laced through his voice. That's exactly what, how I said it. <laughs> with sadness. <laughs> yeah. Are you not enjoying the party or something? I I just don't want to be a burden to you is all. She disclosed truthfully, hanging her head down in shame. You're just so cool and popular, and I'm just me. Uh, Jeff frowned, looking at his new, dispirited friend. Gwen, you're like the coolest gothy chick I know. <laughs> sure, you got a bit of an attitude, but honestly, you're a great person to be around. Not to mention, you're a god at beer pong, he stated, <laughs> setting his hand down on Gwen's knee. She sm she lightly sniffled. You're like, I don't know, almost mysterious in a way. Which is cool because it makes you seem more interesting. I don't know, um, maybe because I'm not like, I guess, full, like... I don't know, I don't dress fully goth when I go out, but pretty gothy, but if I get called like, oh, you're the coolest goth person I know, I don't know, it's like, you're so gothy, dude, I'm, I would be like, um, thanks? I don't know. <laughs> be like, thank you, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Gwen thinks it's cool. <laughs> Gwen looked up at the blonde. Oh, really? She sniveled, wiping her nose slightly. Uh... Oh... Did oh I... shit! Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I forgot to okay. Yeah, dude. I wish I I could have gotten to know you sooner. Jeff admitted. I just didn't think you liked me. Gwen glanced down at her shoes in shame. Uh, sorry for being such a crappy person. The goth apologized. Y you know, I should have took the opportunity to come to your party sooner. Sorry, I didn't. Hey, party's a state of mind, my dude. Sometimes people aren't always in the right mindset for it. I'm thrilled you finally made an appearance and showed me the... The, the what? <laughs> the Jonesmeister? How beer pong is done. Oh my god. Jeff told her, grinning. You know what? I am too. Gwen agreed. 
Jeff's pretty chill. I, I, I'd, I, I'd trust. Uh, I don't know about my drink, but I, I'd, I'd chill with Jeff. I'd you, you wouldn't trust him with your drink, but you would chill with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how I feel about him. Mm. Jeff's smile grew wider as, as brought, as brought his arm back over to Gwen's shoulder. She let her head rest on his chest until a booming voice made the two rip away from each other. Gwen, there you are. I was looking all over for you. Duncan said, walking over to the two, ruining the scene, the serene moment. It's about time we should leave. Jeff and I played some beer pong, she revealed to the delinquent standing up. She turned to face her new friend. Well, Jeff, I guess I better be leaving now. She spoke with a little wave. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for coming, bruh, he acknowledged with the tip of his hat. Think you're gonna come the next one? <laughs> I'll think about it. It's pretty chill. It's pretty fun. That was wholesome. <laughs> Alright. That was pretty- It's chill. We got time for watch. Do we want to do the hockey date or the banter effect? The hell's the banter effect? Uh, I think that one's between Duncan and Heather. Oh god. That sounds chaotic. Let's do that one. Okay. Banter effect it is. Gotta love chaos. Woohoo. Alright, I guess I'll be Duncan again. You can be Heather and I'll do like the narration. <laughs> you can narrate and I will be uh, Heather. Right. If you want to still be Duncan. You yeah, can. you know, I gotta be my husband, man. He's, he's great. True, brother. Gotta love goths. <laughs> gotta be my True, favorite hey. gender. <laughs> it, goth, my favorite gender. Yeah. Me, bro. Shout out to emo right. boys. Gotta be my favorite gender. <laughs> True! Alright, so about that other day. Dun Duncan Swaggered? Okay, he did. He got the moves like Jagger, apparently. Swaggered! That's, well, that's... I mean, that's around when the show came out. Fucking Swaggered. Oh yeah, you're right, it was. Duncan Swag. <laughs> Duncan Swaggered into the crowded cafeteria, his teal eyes scanning the room for a familiar face. Spotting Heather at the table, surrounded by a group of admirers, he couldn't resist the opportunity for some banter. He approached her table, leaning against it with a cocky grin. Well, well, well. Duncan, oh, what, droddled? Yeah, sure, he droddled, his voice dripping with sarcasm. If it isn't the queen bee herself, what's the latest scheme you're cooking up, Heather? Heather rolled her eyes, her lips curling into a smug smile. Oh, Duncan. Always so insightful, she remarked, her voice laced with a hint of condens conden condescens condescension. Yeah, you did it! <laughs> Gold star! <Yeah. laughs> Just discussing my plans to conquer the school one popularity point at a time. Duncan chuckled, unimpressed by her self assertionness Conquer the school? Please, sweetheart. There's more to life than popularity. Heather's eyes narrowed. A challenge flickered in her gaze. Oh, really? And what would you know about it, troublemaker? Duncan leaned closer, his voice low and filled with mischief. I know a thing or two about making an impact, Heather. Something you can Ooh. learn from. Ooh, tea. Heather raised an eyebrow, her interest peaked. Is that a challenge, Duncan? Because I never back down from one. Duncan smirked, enjoying their verbal... What? Sparring. <laughs> Thank you. Sparring. Oh, it's definitely a challenge. Let's see if you can handle it. I hope they beat the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> Just cuts to them fist fighting and then getting sent to the principal's office. <laughs> that would be a total drama thing to happen. Yeah. Heather crossed her arms, a confident smirk playing on her lips. Bring it on, Duncan. I'm not afraid of anything. As the days passed, Duncan and Heather found themselves engaging with one another more, despite their contrasting personalities. Their conversations were filled with sharp retorts and clever <laughs> comebacks, each one- each trying to one-up the other. The more they bantered, the more they uncovered a shared understanding and admiration for each other's sharpness. One afternoon, as they find themselves alone in the hallway, Duncan sees the opportunity to push their playful banter further. 
He leaned closer to the raven-haired girl, his shoulder resting against the locker. You know, Heather, I've never seen you flustered. Are you secretly a robot? <laughs> Google when I log into a new computer. <laughs> are you secretly? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Heather raised a perfectly shaped eyebrow, her lips curving to a sly smile. Flustered? Please, Duncan. I'm always in control. Duncan leaned closer, the mischievous glint in his eyes matching hers. Oh, really? So you're not even the slightest bit affected by my irresistible charm? Oh my god. <laughs> such a, a narc. <laughs> Heather's- I mean, so is she. Heather <laughs> scoffed, feigning indifference. Charm? Oh, please. I've seen better. Duncan chuckled, enjoying their back and forth. He placed- Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Aww. He placed a hand above her head. His eye, oh. his eyebrow pierce, piercing. Wait, his eyebrow piercing, glistening in the, the <laughs> high school light. I never seen an eyebrow glisten before. This is new to me. I want to know what they did. Did they put glitter in the eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> you can deny it all you want, Heather, but deep down, you know you can't resist me. <laughs> God, what a bad boy. You're a bad boy. <laughs> Heather's eyes narrowed, a playful spark dancing in her gaze. Don't get ahead of yourself, bad boy. I'm not that easy to win over. <laughs> Duncan, oh sm <laughs> Duncan smirked, his voice low and filled with intrigue. Maybe I like a challenge. Uh, they always talk about Heather's lips and her smile. Heather's lips curled into a knowing smile. Well, lucky for you, Duncan. I'm full of surprises. Yeah, this That's... whole chapter's full of surprises so far. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> their banter continued, weaving its way into their daily interactions. They found themselves seeking each other's company, drawing the thrill of their verbal sparring. Duncan admired Heather's... Uh, what does that say? Deceit? De thank you. Deceit and determination. While Heather couldn't deny the excitement Duncan brought to her con constructed world. One day, as they sat at their secluded table in the cafeteria, the usual banter took a softer turn. Duncan- oh wait, what, is, what do they mean by softer? <laughs> Are they gonna get romantic? <laughs> is like, this gonna turn uh, to fluff? Yeah. Oh no, they're they gonna, gonna start banging. Oh no, are they gonna have premarital hand holding? I don't know if I can. No! <laughs> okay, if that happens, we gotta turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> None of that shit. Weird. Alright, uh, I'll go. Fuck it, let's go. Alright, Duncan leaned in, his voice barely a bubble whisper. You know, Heather, beneath that tough exterior, I see something more. Oh. Uh, sir, this is fifth period. <laughs> we're, uh, we're in English right now. <laughs> sir, this is a wedding. What are you guys doing? I'm gonna have to separate you two. <laughs> Heather's eyes flickered with a mix of curiosity and vulnerability. And what would that be, Duncan? Duncan reached out, gently brushing a strand of hair behind Heather's eager. Oh. I see someone who's not afraid to fight for what she wants. Someone who's willing to break the rules to get ahead. Interesting. Heather's breath caught, her eyes searching his face. She, she keeps it like an asking questions. And what do you want, Duck, Duckin, <laughs> Duncan Donuts? And oh, what damn, do you want, good. Duncan? <laughs> Duncan's voice was filled with sincerity as he replied, "I want to know the real Heather, the one behind the walls and schemes, the one who's not afraid to let anyone in." Heather's defenses slowly crumbled, a genuine smile tugging at her lips. Oh uh, well, maybe I want to know the real Duncan too, beyond the bad boy facade as their eyes are they about to hold hands <laughs> no no it's, i think it's about to end it's, before that it's over okay as their eyes met an unspoken understanding passed between them the banter that had brought them together hinting at a connection that went beyond their personas and as they continued to trade playful jabs and witty remarks duncan and heather couldn't help but wonder if their banter might be the beginning of something more you know what? that's cute that was that was pretty cute. It's like, I don't know, reminds me of like two bullies in school, but they actually like get together. That's, I, mm -hmm. I, I like that. That's silly. 
Yeah. There was no premarital hand holding mentioned, which oh. gets it. Which gets a vote in my book. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. This is so great. Alexa, play Despacito right now. <laughs> play, uh, I don't know, like, met a girl and I really think she li I liked, or whatever the song is. Some shit like that. Some, like, 2000s, like, high school, like, girly drama music. Now I'm trying to think of the early 2000s music. I don't know, Party Rock? That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Britney Spears or some shit. Yeah, Lady Gaga was all over. <laughs> you know, you know, these are constructed and pretty cute. I like these. Reminds me of like scrolling Tumblr to see some quick like hypotheticals with characters. These are silly. I like them. Yeah, dude, these were really good. I, I trust this author because I read their uh, Duncan X Reader like a while back and it was really good. So I'm glad oh. someone else can enjoy this author as well. Sweet. Well, goodbye, guys. December 2023. I hope they come back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't think yeah. they're coming back, though. <laughs> oh. They got other social. Oh, they got a red bubble? I guess so. They also- I followed them on Instagram, and they were like, Guys, I can't deny it. I can't escape the total drama fandom, even though they were trying to, like, leave it. And I'm like, one oh. of us. One of us. <laughs> one of they got total drama stickers, it's funny. But anyway, All right. Th thank you for joining, Gummy. I appreciate it. Yes, of course. Oh, who is this- uh, I'm sorry, uh, this girl- this girl here, I'm getting so distracted. I'll talk about it after. Alright, no problem, guys. <laughs> anyway, Gummy's card is linked below in the description if you want to check out their social medias along with, like, their Patreon and then their Etsy shop and whatnot if you want to throw money at them, like I do. I throw a lot of money at you. Whoa, opens eyes. Yeah. Like, really? <laughs> Touches fingers? <laughs> oh. Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm happy to be here again. But, uh... I'd be happy to continue being here. Oh my god, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Uh, me too. Don't worry. It's too late for me. <laughs> my brain is deteriorating. All I can think of is total drama and SMG4 stuff, so I might have brain rot. <laughs> total drama. Total brain rot. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that is me. For real, for real. <laughs> for real. Thank you guys. Love you all. But anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Gummy, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! <laughs>